What is up, YouTube? Community name still pending. Like I said, if you want to be a contributing factor into what the name is going to be called, then be sure to follow my Twitter at Devon underscore Da Vinci, spelled the exact same way as this channel's name. And I will have a poll on there with a list of different names that have been recommended to me by you guys. And you can vote on it to let me know which, what the name should be. It'll be the name that y'all will be called from, from you know now on. So be sure to pick something that you'll enjoy. Make sure I don't you don't pick anything that's stupid because you will hear a lot of it. Anyway, um, I just recently did a video, Ricky Gervais uh, at the Golden Globes. The compilation that I watched covered uh, the years 2010 to 2012. I understand he has other years that he hosted it. I will check those out in the future. But uh, something I wanted to check out, this was one of his comedy specials. This is his, uh, his spe uh, not special, but his segment on Noah's Ark. So I've had somebody recommend this to me. I will go ahead and leave a name in the comment section. Sometimes it pops up later than it should because after I upload the video, I tend to forget about it. <laughs> but um, uh, it will pop up at some point. Like I said, I, have, I wasn't a big fan of Ricky Gervais when I first noticed him. The first time I ever saw him was on um, actually Grand Theft Auto 4. He was one of the guest comedians, him and Cat Williams. And I would always look for Cat Williams uh, segments. So I would like skip Ricky's just to get the cats. And... I don't know, the, the Golden Globes was just funny, so I'm going to go ahead and check this out and see what exactly it has to offer, and maybe you'll have a new fan. Let's go ahead and check this out. It's the book of Noah. Oh yeah, before I start, be sure to check out my other video that I did also discussing Noah's Ark. It was done by Dark Matter 2525 He's an atheist um, YouTube uh, creator. He does cartoons and things like that. I'm sure you guys would enjoy it as well, so check that out after you get done with this. The children's edition. Um, I actually got this awarded to me when I used to go to Sunday school every week. I believed in all this till I was eight. Um, <laughs> a lot sooner than a so lot of us. this Sunday school presented to Ricky Gervais, R I double K I, like a fucking mongoose. 1965. How old is this man? God damn. For regular attendance. Not even for being good at anything, just for turning up. Right? <laughs> He's always here. Give him a prize. He'll be back. Thank you. That's Thank how they you. keep you coming in. Let's have a look at the evidence. They start, they start with the books, then it moves on to the candy, and then it moves on to blowjobs. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this out. Long, long ago, when God first made the earth, I'll let both those points go. We haven't got time. Right. <laughs> long, long ago, by the way, according to the Bible, is 5,000 years. According to the Old Testament, the earth is no older than 5,000 years old, okay? It's actually 4.6 billion years old. Let's pop that in. Pop that. 4.6 billion years ago, when God first made the earth and sky... All right, don't big it up. It's like... It comes as a package, really, doesn't it? I mean... <laughs> do you know what I mean? The sky was never an optional extra. It's like... Made you a planet. I can't breathe. Would you like an atmosphere? Of course I fucking would. So, <laughs> well done. But he could have technically made everything us was peaceful. Without everything needing beautiful. air. God made human beings too, and He wanted them to be good like Himself. Arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> but very soon they wanted their own way. They would not listen to God. They became wicked and did wicked things. Look at him doing wicked things there. <laughs> He's picking his nose. You don't get much more wicked than that, do you? Fuck off. Oh, fuck off, wicked. <laughs> fuck off, wicked. He's like doing the tango Three. while picking ah. his nose. <laughs> God just looking on. Oh, carry on. See what happens. See what happens. I'll see what happens. Yeah. I'll see what happens. Why does God not have color? Bloke there running off with a big bag of money. Don't put it in a bank, you cunt. Uh, right. He could just be making a deposit. God looked at them and said to himself, They are so wicked. I will have to wipe them off the face of the earth. Really? Really? Straight to genocide. <laughs> what happened to one verbal and two written warnings? Straight, <laughs> Straight to the annihilation of the entire human race. Yeah, why not change their because hearts like you did Pharaoh? Trousers, pick someone's nose. <laughs> yeah, they really? just, just change their hearts like you did Pharaoh. Fuck. Anger management, Matt, just... Calm the fuck down. Let's ch let's just ch let's talk about this. Wow. I read that to Carl Pilkington, right? Who is yes. 
Yes. Head like a fucking orange, I know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I read that bit to him. They are so wicked, I'll have to wipe my face of the earth. And Carl said, he sounds gay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? what do you mean? He went, some gays are a bit like that. He thought God was like having a hissy fit. Like, he's like, no, they treat me like a bastard. I'm going to treat them like a bastard. I'm going to show them. I'm going to wipe them out. I said, Carl, yeah. God is not gay, OK? <laughs> Read the Bible. He hates them. Yeah. They are so wicked, I would have to wipe them off the face of the earth. And every living thing with them. <laughs> What's the squid ever done? <laughs> Guilty by association. What? But he's not gay. God is not gay. <laughs> but there was one man who was still very good. His name was Noah. He was a friend of God. Just a friend, so don't know. <laughs> Just a friend. A friend with big hoop earrings. <laughs> oh, whoops. How bad. A transfer update here. <laughs> I guess my computer doesn't want to expose Rouge. God's side, dude. <laughs> What's he doing? He lives in a cave. What's he doing with this? What, oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Seeing God. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Handlebar moustache. <laughs> Holding God's hand. Mm. Who's wearing a blouse? <laughs> and are all those women in the background? Oh, I thought all of them were women. How about that? That's funny. God is not gay. God said to Noah, <laughs> I am so angry with men. <laughs> <laughs> You mean men and women? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I am so angry with men mm -hmm. that I have made my mind up to destroy them all. I have stretched my bow in the sky. It is a rainbow. That's got to be the world's first pun, hasn't it? <laughs> it will make so much rain pour down on Earth that everything will be drowned, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to build an ark. It must be like a big boat with three decks and a roof over it. Yeah, I know how to build a boat, mate. <laughs> and you will make a door in the side of it. Do you think I'm a complete idiot? I know. Noah did exactly what God told him. And then God said to Noah, now, okay, okay. Now, this is aimed at children, admittedly, but it's taken from the Old Testament story in the Bible. Um, but I don't think the author of this book is a zoologist. Um, <laughs> Uh, as we've said, there could be five million species of animal. I don't think he knows them all the way he backs out very quickly in this next sentence, okay? I want you to take two of every kind of animal with you into the ark. Two lions, two tigers, two elephants, and so on. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've got lions, tigers, elephants, <laughs> so on. I want you to count, er, count up to the highest number you possibly can. One, two... So Look after on. them well and keep them alive. And Noah did what God said. Now I wanted to study that scenario. Okay, so God is angry with mankind. He's fed up with them. They're wicked, right? He's going to wipe them out and just start again with Noah and his wife. He's angry with the animals too, for some reason. I don't <laughs> so he's going to start again with just two of each species. He calls a flood. They build an ark. Noah goes, right, two of every species. Two, just two. Right, quick, first two. Ooh, there's a stampede. Two elephants, two toucans, just walking. There's <laughs> no rush. They're probably not worried about getting on the boat because they can fly on any at any point. Just strolling, <laughs> baby. I think this one is a bit more concerned <laughs> than this one. This one's probably going, should we fly? <laughs> nah. No? <laughs> nah. 
I could do this all night. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait till he puts all the lines and stuff away. Then, then we, then we board. No. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we. Oh, we've got wings. Oh, we've got feet as well. <laughs> Why don't you want to push in? That elephant's looking at me funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking am. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> if you try and push in, I'm going to stamp on you, you, you big nose twat. <laughs> Hold on, who are you calling big nose? <laughs> what do you mean? No, it just. Pot calling kettle black. What the fuck does that mean? What does pot? We well, you know if a pot's but I'll forget it. I can't forget it. I'm a fucking elephant. <laughs> <laughs> this is the curse that I've been born with. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember two anything. Camels, <laughs> two lions, two ostriches, two <laughs> leopards, two tigers, two zebra. Ah, here's the crux of my point. Just one species on the ark at the moment. The giraffes. They got uh, their first longer legs. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they um, five million take up a lot more of space. species to, to get on there. So two of it. So two two animals on the ark at the moment. Ten million more animals to go. Ten million more of those. Okay. Ten million of them to get on there. Just two on there at the moment. Look how much room they're already taking up. <laughs> It's at a third capacity. <laughs> What's it going to be like on there when these two fat cunts get on? <laughs> <laughs> then God bent the bow of his anger and the rain came flooding down, covering the earth with water. It rained for 40 days and nights. The flood water rose higher and higher until it covered the tops of the highest mountains. Every living thing was drowned except Noah and the animals in the ark. And the fish. They were fine, weren't they? They were fine. They were loving it. They were better off. In fact, all the sea creatures. I mean, mountains underwater, their domain had increased like tenfold. Also, it's so much more interesting. You've got crabs going, I'm on a fucking mountain. This is amazing. <laughs> I never want this flood to... I've never been up here before. I think of that when you see on the news, like if there's a little um, village in Gloucester flooded or something. And it's really sad. You see people, they've lost their homes and they're in dinghies and they're carrying their pets. And you see a little row of antique shops completely underwater, and I think of a fish just looking in the window of that antique shop for the first time. <laughs> so that's a chaise long. I don't know what that is. I, I, I can't get that one. Damn. For 150 days the earth was covered with water. Then Noah opened the window of the ark and looked out. The water seemed to be going down, but how could he be sure? Well, ask God, you've been chatting to him all the way through. Why are we... Why are we getting cryptic all of a sudden? Mm. He sent a raven out, but it soon came flying back. It could find nowhere to settle. Noah waited another week, and he sent out a dove. Why did the raven lose his job? Because <laughs> he was black. It's like, the no, dove that's a came joke. back. That's a joke. Too. See, the raven wasn't bullshitting. This is... <laughs> there was still no dry land anywhere. But one day, the dove flew out, and... Why did the dove get a second go and not the raven? <laughs> Racist. <laughs> We're here. He gets me. <laughs> but one day the dove flew out and brought back a green olive branch, and no one knew that God was no longer angry. Then God told Noah to let the animals out of the ark. They must once more fill the earth with living things. But if it was just like floating thing, in Noah the water. Did was to build an altar. He offered a sacrifice to God to thank him for saving them. And Noah said, I will make a pact of friendship with you. I will never again send a flood to destroy the earth. The rainbow, which I put in the sky, will no longer be a sign of my anger, but a sign of peace. It will be a sign of my friendship with men. <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, <laughs> and it's coming out of his crotch. That is how it is used today. They took it literally. <laughs>
it will be a sign of my friendship with men, which begins today, and which my son Jesus will one day prove by shedding his blood for men. Who? You'll see. There, was, there wasn't a teaser campaign in the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon, the sequel. Um, <laughs> If and so when you've done wrong Testament. and you're feeling very sad about it, think of the rainbow and the peace which God wants to put into your heart. He has promised to be your friend, promised to be his. And that's just one of 12 in the Dove Book series. Um, I've only got one, number nine now. Although I think my favorite would be number eight just from the title, Jesus and the Cripple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. Yeah, that's oh. funny. That is funny. I, uh, I read that whole book to Carl, and um, he believed it all. Why wouldn't he? It's written down. And um, yeah. I said, Carl, think, how could they get 10 million animals on a boat? Carl went, they said it was a big boat. Yeah, they did, that's true. I said, but they're all part of the food chain. They would have literally had to have eaten each other to survive. Why didn't the lion eat the antelope? Why didn't the spider eat the fly? And Carl said, because in a crisis, you all pull together. Wow. You know the thing that always gets me about Noah's Ark, and I'm pretty sure I might have mentioned this on the Dark Matter video, but um, wasn't the point of the flood to like start over so that humanity would be the way God envisioned it with the Garden of Eden? So, I don't think that worked out for him. Like I said before, as a matter of fact, God is kind of a failure. Like, the Garden of Eden failed, despite the fact that he knew what was going to happen. He still went along with the stupid idea of putting the Tree of Knowledge in reach of humans. And then, you know, we have this, where he, you know, floods the earth. He has, like, his best representative as the only surviving human, despite the fact that he had some flaws in his family. <laughs> um, yeah, and, like, God couldn't just wipe everybody out and then start over with a new Adam and Eve? Like, why is it that he had to get someone from the old world that has some bad stuff going on in his family to be the one that repopulates the earth somehow? And then he does it without any type of, well, I guess there is some incest. That's kind of how they got the screwed up family. But, um, I mean, this idea of one man, one woman repopulating the entire earth, at some point, the gene pool gets really, really diluted. I mean, it gets bad. So after that, then you have the Tower of Babel, and he destroys it because he doesn't want people building a tower to reach the heavens but later on we find out that if you built a tower and had any plans of reaching heaven good luck with that <laughs> because um yeah chances are you would have had a bad time way before you reached anywhere like celestial you, you, once you got past the clouds you probably would have had a, a you probably would have had a bad time <laughs> anyway that's been my video um if you enjoyed it then make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. If you didn't like me talking during the video, then I would suggest you watch the original video. It's in the link in the description box down below. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on, and I hope to see you guys there in my next videos. I am the original Renaissance Man, Devon Da Vinci, in case I didn't already say that. Signing out. Deuces.